Yo, what's up everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create a YouTube intro in Final Cut Pro 10. So this video serves two main purposes. I want to make you aware of this company called Motion VFX, as well as make you aware of this plugin. But I also want to give you some ideas and inspiration for um, your own YouTube intro. So you obviously don't have to just, you know, copy exactly um, what I did. And if you're wondering, you know, is this a plugin or does this cost money? Um, yes, this actually is a plugin and it does cost money. Now this plugin is from Motion VFX. It's called called M Channel Modern and it definitely costs you know, a significant amount of money. I'll go ahead and put the download link in the description below. But the point or the objective of this video is to you know, obviously you know, show you this um, plugin. But I, again, I want to give you some inspiration, some ideas, just in case you've never made a YouTube intro. I want to go over just some ideas, some different concepts, just things to keep in mind when you're making your own YouTube intro. So hopefully this video gives you some ideas and uh, inspiration for your, um, you know, your very own YouTube um, intro. Now this video is technically sponsored by Motion VFX. I didn't I didn't go out and actually buy this plugin. This was actually gifted to me, you know, by Motion VFX, which is pretty cool to have, you know, a company like Motion VFX, you know, that knows who I am and is willing to send me out some free stuff. So I just want to let you know, kind of like as a disclaimer, this is kind of you know technically sponsored um, by Motion VFX. And again, I'll put the download link in the description below. So if you want to download um, this exact plugin, or maybe you want to uh, download other things from Motion VFX. This is the first video I've ever done on Motion VFX, so if you're new to this channel, you probably don't even know what this company, uh, or if you've been watching this channel for a while, you probably don't even know what this company is. So I want to make you aware of the download link, and the link to Motion VFX, uh, VFX is down in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and just go over one small thing um, when it comes to installing this plugin that's different from some of the other plugins that I've made. So I'm going to go over here to Launchpad right here, and go to M Installer right here. So you want to make sure you have M Installer installed. Now all this stuff should be pretty... Um, um, self-explanatory when you go to their page and um, download um, uh, download their uh, plugin so it, it should be all pretty much self-explanatory but if it asks you to download M installer you need to download M installer as you can see right here here are all the plugins that I have M camera ring M vertigo and as you can see right M channel modern so all you would do it would say like, I think it says like download click on download and what it's gonna do is gonna automatically be installed into your motions template folder which is um, really nice so I just want you to know, make your work it's a little bit different than some of the other plugins or the plugins that I've reviewed um, in the past now I want to go over some couple of tips and tricks and basically just how to use um, this plugin right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just import a video. So what you're going to do is you can import a video or a photo. So I'm going to use this one um, as an example right here. So let's go ahead um, and just use this one right here. So you want to just import um, a video or a photo and then you're basically using these as templates to overlay on top of your video or photo. So I'm just going to go ahead and mute this right here and just fit this as screen right here. So I have a video right here and then I have a thumbnail right here of one of my past videos um, right here. So just pretty simple as you can see right here I have a video right here or a screen recording of one of my uh, past videos and then I just have a thumbnail. So you're just importing a photo or a video into your timeline right there and it's pretty much um, as simple as that. So I'm going to go over here to where the plugin is right here. So M Channel Modern. As you can see right here you have all these really cool add-ons right here. You have some really cool backgrounds and you have these really cool um, logo animations right here and then you have these um, lower thirds right here all these different um, animation overlays right here you have some social media um, icons and then you have these really cool animated titles so that's everything that comes in the entire um, M channel modern pack so I'm gonna go ahead and basically just show you the how to use these and or if you're wondering you know, how, how can I customize them I'm gonna go ahead and head over here to overlay or opener right here and I'm just going to import this opener now this is pretty much like a built-in preset right here you really don't have to do much um, to this right here so if I play it right here this is what it looks like right here well wait for it to play right here and then as you can see right here that's what it looks like right here. Now if you're wondering, okay, what can I customize or can I customize a lot? What you want to do is you want to click on the effect, go over to this T icon right here. As you can see right here, here's all the custom, everything you can customize right here. So if you're wondering, can I customize a lot? Um, yes, you can actually customize a lot. So let's get over here to color. Maybe I want to change the background color to green. I want to change the text right here um, to my name right here. I can go ahead 
and scroll down right here to text two. Let's go ahead and type in you know my last name right here. So you can see right here you can adjust the text. Now you know what else can I do? Well, I can go ahead and uh, take down the scale. So let's say like 400%. I want to change the font to something like this. I want to move the font over here. So as you can see, you just have a whole bunch of really cool customized. All, all these effects are customizable. You can mess the text. Now I'm not saying you can you can customize every single little detail, but as you can see right here now, look at it. As you can see, I've changed it. Added it green, changed the text, changed the position. So you have a whole bunch of really cool oh, like different ways to customize your template so you're not just limited to like one you know just you know just limited to the template you have a whole bunch of your know, ability um, to customize it now for templates background lower thirds and text what you want to do is you want to place it on top of your clip right here so let's go ahead and take this overlay and I'll just go ahead and place this overlay right on top of the clip right here so you can see right here you're just placing it on top of the clip right here and now it's going to automatically animate that clip so if I play it right here with a final cut to render as you can see right here it automatically um, animates that clip um, right there as you can see right there you just place it um, on top right there so let's head over here to uh, text right here and we will apply this text so you're basically just, pla you're basically just placing everything right on top of your video right here so you can see right here you just have a text animation on top of your video right here so let's go ahead and just uh, let's type in um, music video right here or videos right here and that's you know the one that I use ex uh, for my actual intro so let's go ahead and play it right here and see what it looks like as you can see right there now the text animation and the video is animated so you're just placing these on top and of course like I, sh like I showed before you can go ahead and customize all of them so let's maybe take uh, a couple different ideas let's head over here to a background let's place place a background on top of it right here so if i go ahead and wait for final cut to render right here let's go ahead and play it as you can see right here a background just animates on the screen and then we all take a lower thirds right here and i want to just place a lower thirds right on top of this uh video right here i want to kind of just give you some basic idea of knowledge of how this stuff works is you know it would take hours to you know construct an entire um youtube intro but i kind of want to go over the basics as you can see right here and basically just show you how these plugins work and how to actually use them as you can see right here there you go use some lower thirds you have some backgrounds now one thing to keep in mind is you can actually adjust the animation so you can see it animates on the screen and then the, it animates off the screen what if you don't want to animate off the screen so i go ahead and click on the overlay right here animate out i'm going to go ahead and uncheck that and then over here, I'm going to uncheck animate out. All that means is now it's not going to animate off the screen. It's going to animate in, but it's not going to animate out. So if I play it right here, as you can see, right, animates in, and then it doesn't animate out. So it's a really cool idea. You can be able to adjust whether or not you want it animating in or even animating at all. So it's really nice to have that um, custom customization or ability to customize it. So let's head over here. I'm going to go ahead and just show you one other thing. Just in case you don't know how to use um, drop zones. Now this is really cool. It comes with these really cool logo animations right here. So if I play it right here, there is a logo animation. Now if you're wondering, okay, how do I use um, a drop zone? Well, if I head over here, I'll scroll all the way down um, right here. Click on it right here. What you want to do is head over here to drop zone, click this little icon right here, and then select what you want. So I want you know, a, a photo of me. Let's go ahead and click on apply clip. And there you go, you've used a drop zone and now uh, my profile picture is a logo, so you can you apply what you can, you can apply your own logo. So let's go ahead and play it right here. As you can see right here, there we go. Now my logo of uh, my profile picture is on there right here. Now that you do to this logo animation, there's tons of other stuff. One hack that I found, instead of a logo, you can actually have a text right here. So it's really cool. So it depends on what you want to do, whether you want a text or you want an image right here. So if I play it right here, this is what it looks like right here, a really cool text animation, which is kind of like, you know, a quick little uh, a hack that I didn't really even know about. So we're going to head over back over to the, the finished YouTube intro. Obviously, this is, this is going to take you hours to really make it um, look good. I just want to cover the basics of how to use the plugin. Now, in terms of creating your intro, the biggest advice I can give you is your intro should give a 10, 20 second summary of your channel. So you need to be able to sum up your channel in 20 seconds. So let's say you want someone to subscribe to your channel. They're going to say, OK, why, why, would I, why should I subscribe to your channel? We can go ahead and show them your channel intro. So if I play mine, I'll show you what I mean. So you can see right here, um, here is the name of the channel. 
uh, what the channel is about when I upload um, videos and then it shows you what the channel so you see editing breakdowns you will all do music videos graphic design uh, videos sports hype videos and then tips and tricks right there and then obviously the name of my channel and then a quick summary of what my channel is about so your intro should be just a quick summary of what your channel is about especially for new viewers it should show people why you should subscribe so it, it basically is, is a 20 second kind of like pitch to kind of show show people what your channel um is about because there are tons of youtube channels so there are tons of people you know asking like oh can i subscribe can i use can you subscribe to my channel can you subscribe to my channel well your intro is a great way to convince people to subscribe to your channel because it gives you a, gives the the viewer or the person a quick summary of what your channel is about and if your channel is about something they care about they're going to subscribe to your channel now a quick little I'll go over one quick little thing which is a uh, music now i got this music track from epidemic sound a couple things you want to uh, keep in mind is you want to make sure the audio is faded so let's go ahead and put it right here what you do is you hover until you see this icon right here and then as you can see right here just dragging your audio to fade in right there so you want to make sure that you fade your audio especially to avoid um, clipping and then also the thing to uh, remember is you want to make sure your audio doesn't peak so if I play it right here as you can see my audio is right around negative 6 negative 12 you want it to, it's probably a little too loud but you want it to be in this area right here you want the audio to be around here uh, just around negative 6 uh, you don't want your audio to start peaking or clipping now as you can see right here also faded my audio you could use the reverb effect it's all dependent on you but what you basically how you do this how you fade the audio out like this is using audio keyframes so click on that right here hold down option and click on your mouse so all I'm doing is I'm holding down option and I'm clicking right here and then as you can see right here now I can just drag it and fade the audio right here so all I did was just added audio keyframes to gradually fade out again you could just you know simply do a fade out you could do a reverb there are a whole bunch of ways to fade out your audio I just chose to use it this way I think it sounds a little bit better um, than the reverb the reverb is much harder because it's very it's very dependent on your audio track so i would just stick to uh fading your audio um out anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos definitely consider hitting that subscribe button i also have a playlist with over 280 final cut pro 10 tutorials anyways i'll see you in the next one peace